Welcome back to Real House DIY. Today I'm going to show you how to use a leak detector to perform a leak detection test on a mini split. The performance of this mini split deteriorated over the winter. Working with technical support for this brand of mini split came to the conclusion after performing a lot of tests that this had a leak and it's either very low on refrigerant or all the refrigerant leaked out. And other than the leak detector, there's a number of other leak detection tests that you can perform. But most common is going to be a water and soap solution. And you're going to spray it all over the coils on the inside unit and the outdoor unit. And you're looking for bubbles. Here's what I ended up buying. This is on Amazon. This is from Sensix. It's the SFD201. I'll get a link in the description. Go check out this product. As usual, I do a lot of research on any product I buy. Found this one to be the best. So right away, just looking at the box, this kind of reminds me of buying a new smartphone. Really nice box that this comes in. Open it up. Inside you have a nice carrying case. Got your user manual. Charging cable. This uses a rechargeable battery. And the leak detector itself. The probe on this is pretty generous, it's about a foot long. You'll be able to reach into places such as on the outdoor unit of a mini split. Take off the protective film, it's on the front here. Now this specific model, this is the refrigerant and combustible gas leak detector. They do sell a refrigerant only leak detector. This one is only about $5 more, so why not have the option to be able to detect natural gas leaks or automotive gas. The manual shows all different types of refrigerants this can detect, as well as combustible gases in the range from measuring all the way down to 10 parts per million. And this uses a semiconductor sensor to detect, and prior to first use, this has to be powered on for 1 to 24 hours. Then for subsequent uses, it has a power-up time of only 30 seconds. Turn it on right now, hold down the power button. So you have that 30 second countdown it's all the time that it will be ready to use. So now it's ready to use. You can see there's a high low button here. So you can change from high sensitivity to low sensitivity. You can zero out the meter. It's already set to zero now. It's not detecting anything. You can also press this mute button to mute the sound. However, I'm leaving this on all the time when I'm detecting because you're mostly looking at where you're pointing this probe, not really focusing on the screen. Now we're ready to start detecting for refrigerant leaks on this indoor unit. You can see I've already taken the front cover off. You'll need access to these copper pipes. I have another video on my channel that shows you how to do that. Go check it out if you need to. So with the leak detector, you may need a step ladder to reach to the pipes in the back here. Check all the connections where you have these brazed joints together, which are going to be more likely to leak. But you can also have a pinhole leak anywhere on these coils here, so it'll check all the way down everywhere. You might notice I have the detector set on the low sensitivity range, but I also tested on the high range. Also check on the sides where the coils loop back. Now even with the system off, you'll have some residual refrigerant that will detect. Or in my case, we think that most of the refrigerant is leaked out. So what I'll do, I'll also perform this test with the mini split running, with the compressor running. And so you build up some pressure, it'll help leak out some more refrigerant if there's a leak to detect. I'm not detecting anything on this indoor unit. Let's go out to the condenser and check there. So here we are at the outdoor unit. You can see I've already taken the covers off. I have another video on my channel. Go check it out. It shows how to do that. You'll also want to remove all the insulation that's around the compressor here. Then you'll have access to all the pipes. So again, with the system off and the system running, I'll check with the leak detector at every single connection here, every single pipe. And this is where this long probe, very useful to reach into these tight areas that are hard to get to.
you want to check this entire coil both on the inside and the outside then definitely the most common place where you have a refrigerant leak is right at the line set connections then you'll also have a line set connection up here before it goes into the indoor unit so if you have these line set covers like this you want to take these covers off and then you can check the line set connection that's right in here i performed the leak detection test system off and system running did not find the leak with the leak detector and it's been several months since we suspect that this completely stopped working and all the refrigerant had leaked out so the next best option it's gonna be the soapy water test even with no refrigerant but with the compressor running you'll still be able to see some bubbles coming out of the leak. Then if that doesn't work, there's still some more options. There's an ultraviolet dye leak detection test you can do. And there's also a test where you fill the system with nitrogen and you're looking for a nitrogen leak. So even though I wasn't able to detect a refrigerant leak on that mini split, I want to see what this does when it does detect a leak. Turn on the gas for my gas grill. This is natural gas. Turn on a burner. But of course, I'm not going to light it. We just want to detect the gas. So just now I can start to smell the natural gas. It's definitely detecting it much sooner than that. I no longer smell the natural gas since I've turned that off. Still measuring and slowly going down now. Amazingly still detecting the natural gas you know, it's lower over here, but it's still detecting that. And then down to zero. Something else worth noting on these leak detectors is that air quality is going to affect the reading. So here I am inside my house and measuring zero parts per million. But then step outside and you can see I have a very low air quality index today. You have things like methane, exhaust, and the atmosphere. And those are being detected on the leak detector. So that's all you have to do to perform a leak detection test with the leak detector. Definitely worth it to have around the house detecting leaks. Your air conditioner, mini split, gas grill, your basement natural gas pipes, propane, your car. I highly recommend this one from Sensex. Go and check it out. Hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.